everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Christmas tea theme card that would be great to give to a friend over the holidays. Also, if you would like to join in on Crafty December and make a card from December 1st to the 25th, then use the hashtag CraftyDecember on Twitter and Instagram so I can see your wonderful creations. For this tea theme card, I cut out one teacup and the matching pieces from the Winter Frolic cartridge. I cut the tea onto some white cardstock and colored it in brown with my Sharpie marker since I didn't have the cardstock color I wanted. I then cut out the teacup onto some blue and peach cardstock. I also cut the saucer out of some white cardstock and the last thing I cut out was the steam onto some light brown. I then attached everything with my Zig 2 8 glue pen. Once the teacup pieces were attached, I used my EK Success marker in the color dark blue and colored the back of the teacup and the plate and then set it aside. For the card base, I took some white cardstock and cut it down with my Fiskars paper trimmer to the size I wanted it. I then squared it in half using my Martha Stewart square board. I decided since this was going to be a Christmas card to use some red and green cardstock. I cut the green cardstock down to fit the whole card base. For the red cardstock, I trimmed it down so you were still able to see the green and attached them both using my ATG tape runner. After the background was attached to the card, I cut out a circle using my Spellbinder Circles die and ran it through my Big Shot machine onto some white cardstock. Following the circle being cut out, I used my EK Success marker in the color grey and went around the circle and then attached the teacup to the circle. Once the teacup was attached to the circle, I used my ATG tape runner and attached it to the card in the bottom right corner. The last thing I added to the front was a sentiment that says a very Merry Christmas. 
For this sentiment, I inked it up with some VersaFine Onyx black ink and then stamped it onto some white cardstock and cut a little banner out on one end. A neat trick for cutting a banner out of some cardstock is to make a slit in the middle and then cut each edge point to the middle slit. I then popped it up using some foam tape. Once the front of the card was done, I decided to add some of the cardstock I used for the front inside. I attached the red down first and then added the green on top. While I was adding the strips of cardstock onto the inside of the card, I thought the steam on the front could use some flocking powder. So I found some brown in my stash and used my zig to make glue pen to attach the brown flocking powder and then thought the whole card looked complete. Thanks for watching, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Also tune in tomorrow for another Christmas themed card.